Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Shilpi here. This video is a continuation of the previous video in which I had covered the other aspects of trigeminal neuralgia. So let's get started. If coming to differential diagnosis, there are a variety of diseases and conditions like migraine, migrainous neuralgia, Horton syndrome, histamine had headache or histamine cephalgia. Uh, but this severe type of periodic headache is persistent at least for a period of hours and there is no trigger area in all these cases. Then there is sinusitis which uh, the pain can be mostly uh, seem like trigeminal neuralgia but also in this area you know there is no trigger area there is present and also the clinical aspects of trigeminal neuralgia are quite different from sinusitis. Then another is the Costin syndrome that has also been reported to reduce symptoms that are suggestive of trigeminal neuralgia but in Costin syndrome there are some auditory and vestibular signals and symptoms that are present related to the temporomandibular joint disorders which may be missing in most of the cases of trigeminal neuralgia. Then there's a condition which is similar to her uh, trigeminal neuralgia which occurs after herpes zoster infection which is termed as post herpetic neuralgia the pain you know usually involves the ophthalmic division of the fifth cranial nerve and it commonly regresses within two to three weeks and uh, in some elderly patients it may persist as well but in these patients we can take a history of skin lesions because there was herpes zoster present you know so we can take the history of skin lesions and that can basically exclude the diagnosis then the pain of dental origin uh, can also mimic uh, trigeminal neuralgia so in those cases a thorough dental examination can should be done for any kind of infection or infected tooth in the patient's mouth then trigeminal neuralgia or neuritis or trigeminal neuropathy it's a poorly understood condition so basically there can be continuous pain it can be due to any dental surgical procedure or pressure on the denture or you know surgical or mechanical trauma or any kind of tumors or intracranial aneurysm aneurysms so it differs from trigeminal neuralgia as an a because uh, by being described more often as an ache, variously stated burning, boring, pulling, drawing or pressure sensation. It can be, it is basically not a stabbing kind of pain. It's a dull pain which is, you know, burning kind of a pain and which is, you know, for a longer duration as compared to trigeminal neuralgia. So, uh, patients with neuralgia inducing cavitational necrosis of the jaw, then Gradenigo syndrome, which includes separative otitis media, that is infection of the ear, trigeminal nerve pain, abusance nerve palsy, or chronic paroxysmal hemicraniatic syndrome. So, all these pain, all these, uh, you know, lesions can present with, you know, pain which is similar to that of trigeminal neuralgia. Then, other cranial neuralgia like glossopharyngeal neuralgia or neuralgia of nervous uh, intermediates or neuralgia of the superior laryngeal nerve and occipital neuralgia also can present in pain that is identical to trigeminal neuralgia although the location may be different then you know some that is short lasting unilateral neuralgia form headache with conjunctival injection and tearing can also present with pain you know which is uh, you know equivalent to trigeminal neuralgia but there will be excessive lacrimation or conjunctival injection or intense headache in these patients then another differential diagnosis may be reader's syndrome or a typical facial pain or cluster headache so reader's syndrome basically it is uh, usually in the ophthalmic distribution and there's pain in the ophthalmic distribution but there's oculus sympathetic deficit that is there can be tosses of the eye there can be meiosis and there can be impairment of sweating limited to the medial aspect of the forehead then so this slide also shows the differential diagnosis which has been divided in basically whatever we have discussed has been divided into primary headache and facial pain disorders and it's been divided into secondary headache and facial pain disorders and odontogenic disorders. So in the primary headache and facial pain disorders, we have glossopharyngeal neuralgia or persistent idiopathic facial pain or short lasting unilateral neuralgia form headaches or cluster headache or primary stabbing headaches. So or in secondary headache, there are painful 
for post traumatic fragile neuropathy or uh, you know which can cause you know stabbing and touch evoked pain like fragile neuralgia or you know which is attributed to acute acute uh, herpes zoster that is post herpetic neuralgia that we discussed or you know cracked tooth or caries or pulpitis or any kind of temporomandibular disorder so basically a compilation of what we had discussed previously has been divided into primary headache and secondary headache and facial odontogenic disorders so that brings us to the end of the video so if you have any doubts or queries you can leave a message in the comment section below and if you have liked the video do hit the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching thank you